Welcome everyone, it's Cherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have something really fun for you today. I'm using some of the Hero Arts from the Vault Stamps in celebration of their 45th anniversary. A couple of the stamps that I've chosen to work with are the Real Poppy and the Aged Background Shadow Stamp. And I've just inked this shadow stamp up with some stone ink from Simon Says Stamp. It's a really nice kind of brownish gray. And I've just kind of swirled that around instead of pouncing it on directly. I am placing this right onto some Nina White cardstock and I'm going to move this around on my work surface so that I get a really good image. And that rubber really grips that paper so you can move this around. I'm also working on a white craft sheet. And once I'm done, I have a really nice distressed image. I'll be using the Hero Arts dandelion die and I'll just be cutting this out from the panel. This is a really cool die because it doesn't cut out completely so the center stays intact. And for dimension, you can just lift up those little pappas to reveal the color of the paper underneath. While I still have my inks out, I'll start on my second card. And again, I'll use that aged shadow stamp to create a nice background for my flowers. The inking technique I'll be using for this is called ink layering. And I developed this back in about 2003 for Hero Arts. And so I've inked up the blossom portion of that stamp with Butter Bar ink. And I'm inking up the stem with the Hero Arts Field Greens. I'm patting that in the center just to get a little bit of blending between the two colors. Once I have that inked up, I'll stamp onto my background for my first flower image. And so there I have a nice bright dark yellow. Without cleaning the stamp in between, I am adding just a dab of soft yellow shadow ink. And again, I'll ink up the stem with that field greens. I've added a little piece of purple tape to the bottom of my card that I'll be stamping onto so I can offset the second flower to sit a little bit lower and not get into that white area so my stems will match up. So once I press this down onto the paper, I now have a lighter image of the first. I'll be adding a little bit of bling to the center of the dandelion and these are the melange art pebbles from Prima and I'll choose one of the larger ones and I'll glue that to the center using some Simon Says Stamp tacky glue. I've positioned a couple message stamps to my Misty and I've cut out some strips of paper and I'll be inking these also with the stone ink from Simon Says Stamp and I'll stamp them onto the strips to add to my cards. With a little bit of foam tape and some help from my T-square, I can add these message strips right onto the front of those shadow stamped images. Here's a look at my finished cards. I really love that dandelion die just by itself on top of that shadow stamp with a simple message underneath. And the Real Poppies card with that ink layering technique where I have a darker image and a lighter image with just a simple message at the bottom. You can use this technique with any of the dark inks and then a really light ink on top that's in the same color family. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on using some of the stamps from Hero Arts for their 45th anniversary from the vault. And as always, thanks so much for watching.